What's going on guys? Dave Calera here from RPM Nutrition and I'm going to bring you through an upper body push-up workout. All you're going to need is a book bag. In that book bag we will need your external weights which will be a whole bunch of textbooks. Whatever you have at home, all you college kids currently not using them, now you have a use for them. And what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wear the book bag for the external resistance. And let's go, we'll go 10 reps with the external resistance, you'll finish those 10, drop the book bag, so we're kind of doing a drop set, get another 10 in, and then as soon as you're done with those 10, you'll drop to your knees for like a mechanical drop set and do another 10. So it's going to look something like this. We'll start with the resistance. Make sure these are nice, full push-ups. As soon as you're done with those, Take your book bag off, your external resistance, drop that on the side, get right back into it. And then as soon as you finish that, it'll drop to your knees for the little drop set, make it a little easier. Kind of burn yourself out a little bit. As soon as you finish those, that's one set. Now, for you beginners, you can start with the 10 reps. If you're a little more advanced, you can maybe do 15, 20 if you're feeling real saucy. And then try to get maybe five sets, five, six sets. Set up a time limit for yourself. Really, it's just to challenge yourself however you feel necessary because we only have so many tools at our disposal. And then as soon as you're done with your push-ups, I have a step set up here only because I don't have any kitchen chairs or anything at my disposal. So you can finish out with body weight dips till failure. Remember, nice full range, drop your butt as far as you can to the floor and just burn out. As soon as you're done, that's a wrap. Now, of course, what most people are confused about or not sure what to do is what do you do post-workout? So especially now when food supplies can be a little wonky, depends on what you have at home. If you're someone who likes to use protein shakes, by all means, stick with that. Some kind of protein, some kind of carbohydrate. Um, you kind of want to limit the fat a little bit right after your workout, so the protein and carbohydrate get digested and absorbed a little bit faster. Um, because you're probably not as active as you would be during a regular week because the gyms aren't open, you can decrease your carbohydrate intake a little bit doesn't need to be zero, doesn't need to be low, but if you're someone who maybe does 50, 60 grams, maybe drop it down to 20 or 30. Try to keep your protein intake where it always is because that's how we're going to maintain our muscle mass to the best of our ability. Um, like I said, protein shakes are great. Sometimes even regular food. You can have chicken, you can have tuna, you can have some steak, maybe some, some Greek yogurt or cottage cheese if you're someone who likes the dairy. Any of those options will work. It doesn't need to be super, super involved or very, very complicated. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, even if you had to wait an hour for some particular reason, as long as you're getting in the nutrition at some point, you're going to be okay, especially now when schedules can be a little bit not, with what, not what you're used to. So just stick with that and you'll be all right. Until next time, guys.